Among the resilient cast members who have weathered the extremes of life below zero, Glenn Villeneuve stands out as a constant presence. I'm a person who's always trying to learn and grow and do new things and expand, so... From the show's inception until 2019, Villeneuve's journey epitomized the rugged essence of living off the grid, offering viewers an intimate glimpse into the challenges and triumphs of a life stripped bare of modern comforts. But then, why did he leave the show without any public announcement, and what is he up to now? Let's find out what really happened to Glenn Villeneuve from Life Below Zero. A sneak peek into the backstory. Since its captivating debut back in 2013, Life Below Zero has been a roller coaster ride, stirring up raw emotions and offering genuine wilderness insights to its dedicated fans. With its gripping storytelling, the show has consistently whisked viewers away to the wildest corners of nature, sparking excitement, empathy, and a profound appreciation for surviving in the wild. Each episode entertains and educates, showcasing the resilience and ingenuity needed to thrive in Earth's most extreme environments. Glenn Villeneuve's time on the show embodies a deep understanding of this lifestyle, earning him a special place in the hearts of viewers who admire his bravery, perseverance, and deep bond with the wilderness. While Life Below Zero revolves around the daily struggles of survival in the wild, Glenn sought something deeper, a narrative that transcended mere survival. He craved tales of adventure, from paragliding off towering peaks to exploring ancient sites and scaling the highest summits. However, his aspirations clashed with the show's producers, who adhered to a specific formula and vision. Despite the resistance, Glenn persisted, driven to share stories that showcase the true essence of the Alaskan wilderness. But then, things took a turn for the worse. Glenn's departure hit hard for many devoted fans who had followed his journey on Life Below Zero. It's been a few years since he left the reality TV scene, but what led to his disappearance? Where is he now? There are various answers to these questions, one of which involves a rift between Glenn and the show's producers. As viewers eagerly await the next chapter in Glenn's journey, let's delve into the backstory and understand how it all began, while also exploring Glenn Villeneuve's character. The beginning of the end. To really get why a nomadic guy like Glenn left life below zero, let's check out his early days. Glenn Villeneuve was born on March 18, 1969, and at 55, he's seen his fair share of adventures. His story kicks off in Burlington, Vermont, way before he became known in Alaska. Glenn developed a love for the outdoors while growing up in Vermont, far from the bustle of city life. His family lived in the woods, away from urban areas, so he didn't go to regular schools. Instead, his parents taught him everything, from reading to surviving in the wild. Living in nature, Glenn learned a ton about wildlife, weather, and plants, soaking in all the lessons nature had to offer. He got serious training in hunting, fishing, crafting, and surviving, getting him ready for life in the wild. Beyond the basics, Glenn's childhood was all about adventure and outdoor fun. At just nine years old, he was already climbing tall mountains like a pro. Picture a kid conquering the peaks of Mansfield, Vermont, while most of his peers were still figuring out how to tie their shoelaces. Adventure was just in his blood. But Glenn wasn't satisfied with just that. At age 12, he and his uncle embarked on an epic journey from Massachusetts to the Canadian border. Even though they didn't make it all the way, Glenn's spirit was undeterred. By age 13, he was back at it, convincing his mom to take him back to where they started so he could finish the trip solo. That kind of determination at that age is impressive. Despite his rugged upbringing, Glenn's family eventually embraced modern technology like TV and the internet. But even with those changes, Glenn stayed true to his wild roots, Living a life like a nomad and immersed in nature, Glenn Villeneuve is one of a kind. With a story that's sure to grab your attention and maybe even inspire you to look at life a little differently, he's made himself right at home in the wild, and it's a pretty amazing thing to see. Glenn's education. When it comes to school, Glenn didn't stick to the usual path. 
He only lasted about a year in high school before quitting for good at 13. He tried going back here and there but kept dropping out, never making it past ninth grade or getting a GED. Glenn's passion for the great outdoors drove him away from school. He believed real learning happened outside of classrooms, through hands-on experiences and going on adventures. His thirst for knowledge pushed him to explore and teach himself new things. In his 20s, Glenn jumped at the chance to work as a freelance courier. He saw it as a way to satisfy his wanderlust and see the world. Traveling had been a part of his life since he was a kid, and he saw it as a way to learn and have some fun. Mountain life before life below zero. Glenn became famous thanks to his stint on National Geographic's Life Below Zero, but his love for the outdoors goes way back, even before the show. He was into the whole primitive hunter-gatherer thing from the start. At first, he wanted to be a bush pilot and spend all his time in the wild. He even got his private pilot's license and flew planes for a while. But eventually, he realized his true calling was to live out in the wilderness of Alaska. So he sold his plane, stocked up on supplies, and headed into the wilderness. Once he was out there, Glenn started thinking about how he could make a living in the mountains. He decided to invite camera crews to film his life. Living in rugged terrain was no joke. He faced off against all kinds of wild animals like moose, wolves, and bears. How Glenn Villeneuve joined life below zero. Glenn shared that he spent over four months out in the wild, completely alone, without seeing another soul. Then, out of the blue, the executive producer of Life Below Zero finally showed up, eight months after Glenn reached out to them about doing a documentary. They had a chat, and soon enough, they decided to turn Glenn's life in the wild into a reality TV show. Back then, Glenn had no clue what a reality TV show even was, since he'd been out of touch with TV for ages. But he went along with it anyway. His debut on Life Below Zero happened in 2013, and he stuck around until 2019, starring in a whopping 85 episodes. Throughout his time on the show, Glenn became a fan favorite because of his down-to-earth attitude and genuine kindness, Glenn's love life get, and his unusual lifestyle. Many of the viewers of the show wonder if Glenn from Life Below Zero married. As with everything in his life, his love life has been quite the adventure as well, full of twists and turns that add layers to his fascinating story. These days, he's not married, but he shared his life with Trisha Kazan in the rugged wilderness of Alaska. Together, they faced all sorts of challenges and triumphs, and they recently welcomed their daughter, Agatha, into the world in 2017. Before Trisha came into the picture, Glenn was married to Sylvia Deomichin. Their romance blossomed in the midst of Glenn's wilderness lifestyle, with Sylvia captivated by his rugged charm. They tied the knot in 2001 and lived out in the wild together. Glenn once shared that when he first ventured into the mountains, he spent four months living solo before bringing Sylvia out to join him. They spent years together in the wilderness, often making trips back to the city and returning to their mountain home. After their marriage ended, Glenn found love again with Trisha. They started off with a long-distance relationship until Trisha decided to leave her job as an attorney in Boston and join Glenn in the woods. She embraced the wilderness life wholeheartedly, and they soon welcomed their own child into the world. However, in 2013, their relationship hit a rough patch, and they decided to go their separate ways. Despite the end of their romance, the memories of their adventures together still hold a special place in Glenn's heart, a testament to the resilience of love in the wilds of Alaska. Encounters with Wolves Glenn's stories of facing off with wolves in the wilderness of Alaska paint a picture so vivid, it's like you're right there with him, battling the elements and staring down predators in the freezing cold. Take the winter of 2006 to 2007, for example. Glenn found himself in a tight spot, low on food, and fighting the biting chill of an Alaskan winter. He set out on a hunt, tracking a wounded caribou that a lone wolf was pursuing because he was starving and determined to feed his family. The chase led him up treacherous slopes until he witnessed a heart-stopping moment, both animals tumbling over a cliff. But Glenn, undeterred, retrieved the caribou 
and rigged up a makeshift backpack from its ribcage to haul the meat back home. That wasn't the end of Glenn's wolf encounters, though. Another time, he stumbled upon a pack of 20 wolves tearing into a fresh kill on a frozen lake. It was a sight to behold, equal parts mesmerizing and bone-chilling. But when the hungry pack set their sights on Glenn's cabin, sprinting across the ice in a menacing charge, he knew he had to take action to protect himself and his loved ones. Armed with nothing but determination and his trusty rifle, Glenn faced off against the advancing wolves. With nerves of steel, he fired shots that echoed across the frozen landscape, taking down three of the predators in a bold attempt to assert his dominance and defend his turf. But when it became clear that the remaining wolves weren't backing down, Glenn wisely retreated to the safety of his cabin. Reflecting on these intense encounters, Glenn gained a newfound appreciation for the delicate balance between man and beast in the remote wilderness. His tales are a powerful reminder of the indomitable human spirit in the face of danger and the primal instincts that drive both predator and prey in the relentless struggle for survival. The mystery of Glenn's departure uncovered. The departure of Glenn Villeneuve from Life Below Zero left fans bewildered, sparking a flurry of speculation and inquiry into the reasons behind his sudden exit in 2019. Glenn's big revelation about his exit from the show hinted at a story packed with mystery and unresolved issues. He spilled the beans in a candid social media post, letting everyone know that the show's producers seemed to have no plans for him in future seasons. Talk about a shocker! After giving it his all in over 85 episodes, Glenn was left in the dark without so much as a goodbye or a nod to his hard work. Despite reaching out for answers, Glenn was met with nothing but silence and confusion, adding another layer to the puzzle of his departure. Speaking out on Joe Rogan's podcast, he hinted at some creative differences with the producers, shedding light on the messy situation that led to his exit. However, the truth behind Glenn's departure from the show was quite complex. He was actually let go due to several reasons, with one of the main issues being his frequent clashes with the producers and crew. Imagine filming a reality TV series in the harsh Alaskan wilderness. It's no picnic. It requires a lot of coordination and teamwork, but Glenn's independent nature and strong will often led to conflicts. He liked doing things his own way, which didn't always meet with the demands of television production. These disagreements over how scenes should be filmed or the direction of the show became a recurring problem. Plus, Glenn's interactions with other cast members added to the tension. Life in the wild can be tough, and people living in extreme conditions can find themselves in stressful situations. Glenn wasn't immune to this, and he reportedly got into his fair share of disagreements with his fellow cast members. The dynamics among the cast members can be complex, especially when their survival depends on their ability to work together. Differences in hunting territories, strategies or personalities often fueled these conflicts. Another significant issue was Glenn's habit of breaking the rules. He had a tendency to venture off into the wilderness, sometimes disappearing for days without informing anyone of his whereabouts. While this might showcase his survival skills, it presented a major challenge for the show's production team. Keeping tabs on a cast member who could be miles away in rugged Alaskan terrain isn't easy. It made it difficult for the crew to capture his day-to-day -day life, which is the essence of a show like Life Below Zero. Perhaps the most concerning reason for the producers and crew was Glenn's penchant for putting himself in harm's way. He often placed himself in situations where he could easily have been injured or worse. In the wilderness, there's always an element of danger, but Glenn's fearless attitude sometimes disregarded basic safety guidelines, making the production team understandably anxious. These various factors, arguments, rule-breaking, and risky behavior led the producers and crew to conclude that it was becoming too difficult and dangerous to continue working with Glenn on Life Below Zero. So, he left the show, and that's why we won't be seeing him on the show anymore. What does Glenn Villeneuve do for a living now? Glenn Villeneuve wears many hats when it comes to making a living. 
For years, he's been deeply involved in real estate, managing properties and investing in them to grow his wealth. He's got a knack for making savvy decisions that pay off in the long run, steadily expanding his property portfolio over time. Apart from real estate, Glenn also dabbles in the stock market. He keeps a close watch on market trends and strategically invests his money where he sees potential for growth. But it's his television appearances over the past six years that have really put him in the spotlight. Glenn's TV gigs have been a significant source of income and fame for him. Viewers are drawn to his captivating stories about life in the Alaskan wilderness. His shows not only entertain, but also showcase his resilience and intelligence. Despite TV being a major part of his earnings, Glenn stays active in other ventures like real estate and stocks. He's a busy guy who knows how to diversify his income streams and make his money work for him in various ways. Active on social media. Furthermore, Glenn isn't just a figure in the remote corners of Alaska. He stays connected with the public through regular podcast appearances, giving listeners a peek into his life beyond what's seen on TV. With an active presence on social media, particularly Facebook, where he boasts over 100,000 followers, Glenn showcases his authenticity and openness, fostering a strong bond with his fans. As Glenn ventures into life beyond life below zero, his unwavering spirit and resilience shine through, serving as a source of inspiration. His journey reminds us that every ending opens the door to new beginnings, brimming with endless possibilities and exciting adventures. What is he currently occupied with? Since his departure from television screens, Glenn's been carving out a fresh path for himself, steering clear of the drama of reality TV. Nestled in the peaceful surroundings of Fairbanks, Alaska, he's fully embracing his role as a doting dad to his daughter Agatha and a loving partner to his girlfriend Shalane. And don't think he's given up his hunting and gathering ways. With the majestic Brooks Range as his playground, Glenn's still out there, honing his skills and living off the land like a true wilderness pro. Glenn continues to immerse himself in the traditional lifestyle of a hunter-gatherer, finding solace and fulfillment in his connection to nature. Alongside his daily pursuits, Glenn has also ventured into the realm of podcasting, lending his insights and experiences to various shows. Lasting Legacy Beyond Stardom Reality TV taps into our primal longing for freedom and a break from the routine of everyday life. But not all shows keep it real. Many prioritize ratings over authenticity, resorting to scripted drama that sacrifices genuine expression. They're in it for the money. Yet Glenn Villeneuve stands out for his commitment to truth, avoiding sensationalism and fake storylines while still finding financial success. Even after stepping away from the TV spotlight, Glenn's influence endures, a testament to his diverse career and lasting legacy. With an estimated net worth of around $500,000, he's proven his success goes beyond just TV. It reflects his ventures beyond the screen, from his time on rugged reality shows to exploring other avenues. Glenn's financial achievements speak volumes, echoing far beyond the realms of television. And that was the story of Glenn Villeneuve's captivating journey and shocking departure from life below zero. What are your thoughts on his transition from television to having a more serene lifestyle? Do you believe his estimated net worth reflects his enduring impact? What's your take on his creative differences with the show's producers? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this exploration of Glenn's legacy. Your engagement helps us bring you more intriguing content like this.